Calling this video up to close trade Monday, 26th of August, 2013. I uh, hope you had a good day's trading. Interesting day. We had a late day sell-off uh, driven by Syria news. Then we had a speech by John Kerry talking about U.S. potential U.S. intervention. Anyway, uh, the market didn't like it. Sold off pretty hard uh, in the afternoon, but only about 1.1 million contracts traded. Now, a couple of things to say. So first of all, it came dead on cue. I said the other day we'd have a rally back, but the next place we'd find resistance was where the cyclical resistance came in on a 135-minute chart. So we had our pretty little pattern, you know, pull back to end of trend on the low time frame, syncing up with cyclical support on the high time frame. So that kind of came in, the blue professional bars stepped in, we kind of rallied from there. But we're still in a downtrend of 135. We've got to work this out. So we've got to go pull back to end of trend here. And so, you know, what we had today's activity was really just a complex correction up into that cyclical resistance point. Didn't even get close to kind of filling the gap. We just kind of, you know, got to the high of that kind of breakdown level there, and then just kind of sold off in the uh, the last, you know, couple of hours of trade. So we've got to make this pullback to have an end of trend. Now, what that means is potentially. You know, the support level is at risk of being broken. If we break that on the downside, we're into a downtrend on the daily chart, and all of a sudden things are rolling over, you know, and, you know, the next couple of days and weeks get really, really interesting rather than something happening kind of later on in September. It's going to happen now. So that's what I'm going to look for. We got on the lower time frames, we've broken into downtrends on the 4,500 tip bar chart. Uh, we're starting on the 13,500 and so on. So those time frames are breaking into trend moves and they need to, you know, work themselves out. The question is, is that going to come, um, you know, in time for this support level uh, to hold? The only thing that's kind of I'm a little bit cautious about, it was an amateur down bar testing bound. So, you know, if we get some weakness and the professionals step back in at this level in the mid 40s, kind of high, for, um, low 40s, something like that, rescue this and kind of push it back up, then the uh, the uptrend is still on. But, you know, we're so close to that level, uh, you know, the low 40s, if that gets broken, you know, psychologically, we're through a pivot point. You know, a lot of people are going to say that's it and kind of, you know, dump their whatever, and then we're on our ways down. So just uh, wait and see. We're in a downtrend at the moment, so let's see where it kind of resolves and what happens uh, really tomorrow uh, over this. So interesting times. Just uh, on the trend, uh, better X trend here, because I said we were going to come back under the lip. You can see here on the uh, at ES, so this is the E-mini chart. You know, we hardly made it much under the lip here at all. But interestingly, on the uh, NASDAQ chart here, so here's the lip. We came right up to the lip. So whenever I see something like that, that's really testing those highs, you know, because we get rejected all the way down. We test all the way back up to it and then sell off all the way back down. So psychologically, that level up there on the NASDAQ is really important. So that's a real kind of testing back under the lip. So it's kind of interesting there. And then on trend lines, we're in a really wide uh, pattern. We broke down out of this one on the 135 minute chart, little white congestion bars. We broke down. We've had another trend line, uh, rising trend line kind of form. We've got little white congestion bars again and again it just means the low the 1640 level here is is really critical so we slice through that over the next day day and a half bang we're away and it's going to get really interesting on the downside um not much to say on the 40,500 tip bar chart you know we're kind of rolling around rambo patterns um today's activity you can see on the 15 uh, 100 tip bar chart the whole morning's activity we had this spike and then sell off uh, with a pullback to end of trend move. And all we did the whole morning was just come back up to test uh, that 67, 68 type level up here. But it was a complex correction on the way up. You can see all these support and resistance levels holding. We just overshoot a little bit. And there's the the uh, exhaustion buying kind of comes in. So it's when I say reversal moves, just three out of four times we get a reversal during the day. It happens after we've had the exhaustion pattern during the day that you know the professionals using the full liquidity of the day there's a whole group of professional bars were kind of coming in being led by the amateurs rambo patterns on 1500 to say are really important and we kind of sell off here i had a couple of trades long uh, on the way up but uh, my first one i had to dump with a two and a half point loss and it's really difficult to recover after taking a loss of my first trade of two and a half so made it back to break even and then started to go sh uh, short was short at 65.75, but I was too early. Uh, and then, you know, for me, because I'm trading Sydney time zone at the moment, uh, which is only for another couple of weeks, but it's it's really tough. And, you know, I kind of went to my bed at one in the morning or something like that. And that's when the move started. So the exhaustion pattern was in. There's the bearish divergence just 
as the sell-off happens they're falling out into a trend move uh, on the way down here through supports and so on so you know um, not a very good trading day for me but uh, you know not every day is a good day anyway so uh, there we go that's uh, what I see on my charts kind of going forward um, interesting 1640 kind of down at the lows let's see if we slice through it over the next couple of days you know uh, the bear in me wants a, a nice big kind of trending move to jump on board so um, let's see if we get it